Look at Hull. JTP, Ryan, you said you were expecting big things from him. Let's see what Justin's got into that second outer zone and Taylor Hull. Hull, Hull, Hull in the chase. Justin Hull goes all the outside zone. Now Justin into the final outer zone. Taylor Hull takes that tighter line. Doesn't get all the way out there. Still a great run for both the guys. English, it's go time. Taylor Hull initiates Justin Pollock. A little bit deeper angle there from JTP. Coming to that second outer zone. Taylor Hull, let's see if he can bring it back. Just barely hits it and knocks it over. Look at Taylor pulling away from JTP. Into that final outer zone. Justin mimicking the angle. The bank, Taylor Hull stays in it. Coming to feel suspension. Here we go. Justin Pollock initiates right there at that one cone. Bodhi Bakshis brings it around. Oh, and something shoots off the back there. Oh, wow, bumper, sorry. And these guys exploded the body parts off. Odie Bakshis, really aggressive. And Justin Pollock brings it in an outside zone. Odie Bakshis right there, Ryan. Firing off. Odie Bakshis, a little later initiation, just slow rolling into that outer zone. Justin Pollock, way more aggressive with the flick. Around that front flip. That third outer zone, how are they gonna manage? That final outer zone, JTP over rotate, stands on the throttle. Ryan, let's check this out again. D cell zone going in, and guess what? Doesn't have to do paddle because where he landed, he landed pulling that number three spot with 29 drivers. He got that final buy run. So let's listen to the Roush performance of Falcon Tire Ford Mustang. There it is, the JTP initiates into the outside zone, a little dirt being thrown up there into the second outer zone. Oh, looks like Jeff Jones gets a little uh, gets a little love tap there from JTP's back bumper into that third outer zone. JTP continues on, not affected by that. And Justin Paul whips it in there and stands on it to ask well executed. Here we go, Jeff Jones getting the clean air. Fills that first outside zone. Let's see how they transition into the second. And there it is, that's what I'm talking about, that flick, that JTP. I mean, he's, he's one of the best at it. And to maintain that angle is always great. Look at Jeff pulling away from JTP, way offline. Jeff Jones, unfortunately. But man, Justin Pollock, the way he does that flick and holds on to it is always really incredible, but also very sketchy. Clean start. GTP flying into that first outside zone. Odie cannot be shaken. Good transition. Let's see how they handle the front clip. Oh, you see a correction from both the guys, right? This is GTP. Little flip of the wrist. And then now in that outside zone, Odie just allowing just enough room. Look out for JTP and that aggressive flick. Look at the flick of the wrist. Into that second outside zone, JTP allows him to pass on by. Ooh, JTP on the wrong side of that front flip. In that outside zone. Oh, look at JTP diving in. And there was that flick, line, but a little too early. He had a transition go on the other Let's side. See how Rome handles the chase position here. Oh, wow, look at that big gap here between JTP and Rome. JTP, this is what we were looking for. I love this. Let's see this transition. He always has these really snappy transitions. Does not get all the way out to that outside zone. Now cruising through the power alley in that, excuse me, the third outer zone. Past that front clip. And now bringing it on home into the outside zone. Oh, look at that. Ryan Montaigne talking about it. You cannot hide anything there on that outside zone. Justin Pollock in the chase. Oh, look at this. As Rome initiates. Big angle there from Rome, but Justin Compromise, take some angle out of it to get into the proximity zone. No social distancing on track as Rome gets really heavy into that second outside zone. And then in the third, past that front clip. Rome, definitely some spirited drive from Rome and Justin Pollock does not get to that outside zone. So Justin, I mean, he, he missed quite a few zones there. I'm very surprised. Let's see how they handle it, JTP quickly separate himself from Masuyama. And Masuyama not even on the same playing field right now. Can't catch up as uh, Masuyama 
Driving his own line. JTB filling all the outside zones. Well executed, big angle there. And there's the signature Pollock flick. And they cross the finish line, Ryan. Let's see if Justin Pollock can get that proximity. Proximity, easy for me to say. Man, shredding down the track. Now let's see. Oh, Pollock sweat Asyama in that second outer zone. All signs are saying Justin Pollock. One more outside zone for Justin Pollock and a great execution there by Masuyama, but I think the JTP in the chase position, Dai initiates. Like I said, two very different styles, very smooth Dai Oshihara pulling away from JTP. That turbocharged LS under the hood of that turn 14 position BRZ, bringing it all the way out. That second outside zone through the power alley. Look at JTP lunging forward. Some separation there between Dai and Justin. Ooh, almost, uh, almost lose an angle there, Ryan. Yeah, Dai is is deceptively very fast. In the car. Justin initiates a little earlier than Dai Oshihara. Point of no return. Big angle there. Dai, good proximity. Not mimicking the angle exactly. Dropping down into the power alley. See Justin lift just a touch, allowing Dai Oshihara to gain that proximity. Massive angle there from Justin. Dai Oshihara kind of beelining to the side of Justin. And both of them really going deep into that final outside zone. And Jeff, let's listen to the uh, Falcon Tire Roush Performance Board Mustang GTP. Initiates. Really well done there by Field. Pollock, oh, some shimmy there by Pollock. Trying to massage it a little bit closer. Now coming down that power alley. There you go. Nice job in that second outside zone. Goes Ooh. Field. Pollock <laughs> has uh, passed that front clip and into the final flipping zone. Look at that. Really well done there. I liked your little sound effects there, right? On this run. But now Justin Pollock, he's going to try to do the same. Wow. Early initiation by Field. Don't know if that's gonna pay off. So almost literally alternating positions as, oh man, look at Field sweating JTP. Great job by Justin Pollock. Field jumps up to the side of JT. Oh, we got contact. Oh man, just could not temper that flame, Ryan. Oh, he, what, he what seemed, was going through his head, man? He seemed very aggressive from the onset. Justin comes out swinging. Jeff Jones in the chase position. JTP, there's Justin Pollock showing up in grand fashion. Jones, a little bit lower on the bank as Justin slides it into that second outside zone through the power rally. Quick little lift, there is a decel area there. Jones, great proximity there. Right to the side of JTP and crossing the finish line, Ryan. Progress, so this would be a great victory for him, but Justin Paul is gonna try to put a stop to that as Jones initiates. Justin Pollock diving a little bit low down there. Definitely got proximity, but you can see him exceeding the front end of Jones. And now in that second outside zone, into the third, Pollock sweating Jones around that front clip and into that final outer zone. Goes Jones and Pollock. Final four, Ryan Turk leads, initiates into the bank. Justin Pollock, nice and tight. Look at this, we got a battle here. Ryan Turk high on the bank. Justin with great proximity. Coming off the bank into the power alley. Can't even see Justin Pollock through that middle tire smoke. Going off muscle memory at that point. Now into that final outside zone. Both of them massaging it in. Well done by Ryan Turk out front and Justin could not be shaken. Tires gonna be thrown in the face of Ryan Turk. What do you got? JTP initiates. Pulling away from Turk. And look at the power that JTP is putting down. Really well executed there by Justin Pollock. Into that second outer zone. Whoa, Ryan Turk lunges to the side. Nice job by Ryan Turk. Keeping that composure, but man, Ryan, really great battle here. Love this course. I mean, they are going for it. 
Yeah, it seems like at first pass, Turk didn't really have much for Pollock. Up against not only the other driver, but the big Monroe Monster Wall. JTP initiates, Vonkin Jr. right there, back at it again. JTP high on the wall as Vonkin Jr. Really good proximity, really tight, coming into the power alley, into that oh! second outside zone. Oh no! As JTP uh -oh, almost pass, shoots, pass. And Vonkin oh. Jr. go for the pass, oh! contact is made. No! Shots fired! It is a Mustang Stampede! Oh! Woo! Justin Paul, oh, Justin Paul give himself some room here. And I don't think it's going to be inactive chase, but oh wow, look at the horsepower on deck by both of these ponies. Vonkin Jr. coming in hot into that power alley. What did I say? JTP! What did I say? JTP goes two wheels off Ryan, overcooks it. And Vonkin Jr., I don't know if that's enough to offset an incomplete run, no. but man, he almost went all the way off. Hey, JTP, here we go. Send it. JTP throws it in hard. Look at that, pulling away from Von Gitt Jr. Oh, wow. Von Gitt Jr. getting close, a little lower on the bank. Justin Paul delivering. The Falcon tires hooking up into that second outside zone. Von Gitt Jr. punches it back forward to the Ford Mustang. It is the Mustang Pro Battle. Woo Look at that, across the finish line. A great run there, and this Rightfully so, going one more time, Ryan. Justin still gained the back to back, winning here in Seattle. Separation already, yep. Vaughn gets you. Oh, Doctor, look at JTP. Jumps forward, laid it at the Ryan. As uh, look at this, Vaughn Gate Jr. into that second outer zone, into the third. Justin jumps up into that front flip. Do we have a winner? Oh, Justin. Oh, Justin parks it. Wow, Ryan, these guys know, don't leave in the judges' hands. They're going to decide. Unbooked. Out go. front, Dr. Castro, JTP, throws in. Really good handle there from Castro. Now, Castro, ended up first. Excuse me, the second outside zone, the first in that power rally. Now, that outside zone three. Bring it all the way through, Dr. Castro. Obviously, JTP running strong. Not getting the track time that we saw from all the other drivers. Compromising that angle to get that proximity is Castro. Now, oh, a lot of compromise there as JTP pulls away from Jonathan Castro. No rods being thrown, just going up and JTP. down. JTP. One more time, battle Castro. Catch that front foot. JTP said, ah, maybe I gotta fill that second outside zone. And he does, does, he does exactly that. It's all a massage, it's just manipulating the vehicle there in that chase position. Castro, massive angle from Castro. Contender coming into this round. Yesterday, but right now, gets that second outside zone. Castro right there in tow. Looks like Bolton learned oh. something. Ooh, pulling away. You see Justin getting in that outside zone. Castro shallowing up, taking a tighter line. But goes into that outside zone. Past that front clip. Both of them really tight on it. Neither of them hit it. Into that third outside zone. Oh, look at this snap here from JTP. We, oh, <laughs> always amazing when JTP holds on to that. You saw him just really snap. Sometimes it ends up biting him. Not, here we go, Frederick Osbo initiating in that first outside zone. Transitioning in that front clip. Now coming through that power alley. Osbo definitely turned it up in that Rockstar Toyota Supra. Now come that third outside zone. Here comes JTP right there on the door of that Toyota Supra. Now going and bringing it into that final outside zone and across the finish line. Oh, Jeff Castro will be chasing down JTP in that Falcon Tires. Ford Mustang, nice good initiation there from JTP. High on the wall, you can see throwing up that Falcon Tire rubber. Jonathan Castro dropping down, staying about mid-angle or mid-line on the bank. Whoa, some lunging back and forth. That looks a little on, on that transition there from both JTP and Castro. I'm gonna have to look at that again. Don't know if JTP threw Castro off both tight around that front clip. A little bit of checking up there. Now keep in mind of the Excel map and the D-cell map. There are areas that you're quote unquote allowed to decel within reason. You're not gonna come to a halt, obviously. I like what Ryan Law takes outside zone. That's still Luth Von Gitt Jr. as I just mentioned. Here we go. JTP initiates into that bank. You can see Castro get proximity, gets tighter to him, and there you go. JTP, look how high and long he is up on that bank, making it difficult for Castro, but then he lunges back forward into that second outside zone. You can see Bollock get all the way out to the outside zone. 
Both of them on that front clip now. See how they handle this last. Oh, there's the JTP flick that we know and love. It looks like he does get it dialed. Sometimes it ends up biting him, but it seemed like precision driving right Ford there. Ford Mustang. Here we go, fellas. Teal blue all over the track. That's about the tire livery. Matthew initiate throwing it into the bank. JTP, you can see him. Okay, okay. Inching closer with every turn and burn. Past that inside cliff. Now into the inside zone. Yes, sir, Matt Field bringing it tight to that wall. But look at JTP sweating Field. Now coming into that last outside zone. Getting all the way out to those pylons, but not knocking them over. Just Wendell, am I right? <laughs> 2020, am I right? Here we go, JTP and Matt Field. Justin Pollock, wow, look at that up on the wall. Absolutely savage by JTP. Matt Field, front row and center in a clinic. Now into that inner zone, Field taking a shallower line. And Justin Pollock absolutely exchanging paint with both of the walls. Let's see how he handles this final outside zone. And here comes Matt Field gaining that proximity. And oh, man. Oh my gosh! Just this on, is, this just is on, it. On, just on principle, I want to see that again. <laughs> Yo, that was sick. <laughs> All work, Justin. Get out. Here we go. Reader on that GT Radial S13. Eye on the bank. Paul is a little bit lower here. Reader, absolutely throwing down. Justin Paul is making some corrections in that chase position. Coming to that inside bank. Now looks like Paul is, is zeroed in. Past that front clip, both of them really tight to the inside clip. Wow, look at that. Justin Pollock barely letting them by, knocking over some pylons, old red. Ooh. Wow, liked what Pollock did, and we saw that on Friday as well. You know, I, I would think that Travis Reeder would uh, would be outpowered by JTP. It doesn't seem the case when Reeder is out front, but there we go. So Justin Pollock, high on the bank, Reeder, a little bit lower. Ooh correction there. You saw him almost glancing the nose of the S13 and Pollock getting familiar with that wall. Reader shallower on the outside zone and now coming to that final outside zone as well. And Pollock just digs it on in. That reinvigorated Ken Gushi and Ryan, you said it looks like Gushi from 2019 after kind of a, a tough year. He won last year. Can he do it again? JTP is going to try to put a stop to that. And there it is. There's that drift tattoo. Dragging that back bumper up on the big bank, the famous Irwindale Bank. Now JTP brings it in on the inner bank, brings it deeper than Ken Gushi, and get Ken gains ground and brings it in that last outside zone. See that Ken was was just a bit short, just a bit. Outside. Ken Gushi getting the clean air. Let's see how he handles it. Initiates, throws it in. The Achilles tires go ablaze. You can see him all over the track. Justin thrown off maybe a little bit there, coming down off the bank. Whoa, buddy, and Justin Paul, you can see, trying to chase him down. Wonder if Kenshiro is 100% tight to that front clip. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous just watching this. I mean, this battle is kind of, it's like an arm wrestling match. You've seen it go one way, and then it comes back the other, it goes there, and somebody's going to break a wrist. It, it seems like Here we go. Justin Pollock initiates high. Ken Gushi. That is not what Gushi needs to do. And now he works it up. Look how quick is that. And now coming down into the first inside clip. Ken Gushi surges an attack. But Justin Pollock, this is it. Watch, watch this transition. See if he does one of his flicks or it's smooth. There it is. It's smooth like butter. Into that final outside zone. So unfortunately, uh, here I think you know they can, should still help hold their head high as Ken Gushi initiates. Eye on the bank, Justin Pollock. You see him. So Ken looking a lot more consistent, and fluid as opposed to his first battle. Now coming past that inside clip into that second outside zone, the inner bank, and this gives Justin Pollock a better opportunity to chase him down. You can't have a good chase unless you got a good lead. This is definitely a more chaseable run prior to the previous battle. And there we go. Ken Gushi putting the car in the right places, but everywhere he went, that teal and blue for Odi. Look at this, rocketing out. Odi dragging that horn. Oh, and Pollock oh. goes into the wall. Oh, boy. Keep oh, on. man. Yeah, keep your eye on Odi. Here we go into that inside bank. Now we are talking about, again, uh, some, man, 
Okay, so Odie keeps it consistent. Ryan, what do you got? I don't want to jump too far ahead here, but I, I want to really see the damage on Justin Pollock because right. no question we have to finish up this battle, right? But Jeff Jones. But Jeff Jones for the third place battle, if it does not go, okay, he's driving, so that should be That's a good sign. okay because you obviously want him to be ready to attack uh, for that third place battle. What will happen here now is that uh, Justin Pollock will have an incomplete on his chase run and he's going to have a, a big hurdle to climb uh, in trying to get past Odie Bakchis. Now remember, Odie did utilize his competition timeout. Right third here. place battle, Jeff Jones, Justin Pollock, our Type S third place battle. Larry Chen down there, signature hat and camo lens. Larry, Larry. Larry, Larry, go ahead, take the photos, bro. Seeker of light. Speaking of lights, they extinguish. Let's send it, Jeff Jones and JTP, Justin Pollock. Jeff Jones initiates high on the bank, that Doc Edelbrock, GT Radial, 370Z. JTP, Justin Pollock, maybe a little bit timid there, didn't get the car dialed enough. He doesn't have another competition timeout. Jeff Jones could get his first ever Formula Drift podium here at Ruindale. Look at that, JTP now back to form. But Jeff Jones with a solid lead run right there on that front inside clip. Into that last outside zone. He dials it, man. He is right on it. The lightning bolts are striking.